Hey guys, Chris here with Joe, and welcome to the Good Old Gamer. Hope you guys are liking the new format. Please let us know what you think in the comments below. All right, so today we got some information. Specs about the proposed GTX 1080 Ti have been leaked. Now, I honestly didn't think that there was going to be a GTX 1080 Ti because, well, there's not really that much room between the GTX 1080 and the Titan XP. But, we did! So, honestly, I did not think this product would come out. Not until there was a faster Titan, you know, something significantly faster, and then they would basically rebrand the Titan XP, the 1080 uh, Ti, or the 1180 Ti, or whatever, something. Uh, yeah, something. And after doing the math, basically, they're just replacing the Titan XP with the 1080 Ti. I honestly can't see any real reason why NVIDIA is even doing this. Just from a purely uh, statistical standpoint, it's going to be about 7.5% slower, which, okay, 7.5%. I mean, we're not talking about any real sizable gains or, or decreases here. Pretty much just margin of error stuff. And uh, I don't know. It just seems kind of weird because NVIDIA is basically competing with themselves. So I, I don't know really what they're thinking here. I mean, this is probably going to be the product that a lot of people have been waiting for because people don't want to spend $1,300 on a graphics card. But we have no idea what the price of this thing is going to be. And this is probably still going to be somewhere near $1,000. Probably MSRP, like $899. But in reality probably be damn near a thousand bucks but uh joe what are you thinking it, it looks like nvidia is just killing their own product lines I, I don't quite get it honestly yeah i mean to be very honest i don't get it either uh, i mean to be specific we're referencing a report today um where we had uh, it was leaked uh, the specs that came out for the the ti and part of the report you read you can read it on TechSpot, talks about the fact that it should be roughly based on the specs that were leaked I mean, 10.8 teraflops, whereas the the Titan XP is 11. Uh, so I, I really don't understand um, the concept of putting out a card that could be that close. But of course, this is speculation. There might be something we don't quite understand uh, yet that, that has yet to be revealed. I mean, this is all speculation because it was leaked. And I mean, I guess we don't even know that this is 100% true. But assuming it's true, uh, the leak doesn't make a whole lot of sense because exactly what are they doing? They're going to cannibalize their own business by putting a card so close to the Titan, why would people make the step up? I mean, sure, there are enthusiasts that will absolutely step up every time, but I still think for the majority of people, if you're going to make a jump between an already overpriced 1080 to the Titan, and then you have a TI that appears to be relatively close to the Titan, I mean, it does appear to have, according to the report, uh, GDDR5, not GDDR5X, which is kind of weird. Um, I don't know why they would take that step down considering the 1080 already has GDDR5X. Sorry, the alliteration there got to me. Um, but I, overall, if you're going to make one jump, why would you even go as far as the Titan when the, 10, the 1080 Ti is right there? I mean, like I said, it's just going to be cannibalization of their own business. I don't understand it. Now, the only thing I hope, like I said, is that this is some sort of unconfirmed maybe not right report or maybe these are early specs and maybe something you know has to change or will have changed already um and that this is this is garbage i'm hoping because it's the only thing that makes sense i mean i can't come up with a reason why it would be this close i can say that over and over again and i've probably done it a few times already so i guess the only thing i can say in this situation is that there's got to be something we don't know because it doesn't make sense any other way no i i don't think there's information and honestly i do think that this is accurate What's kind of strange is the Titan XP was already a cut-down version of the GP102 chip. It was already weaker than the absolute maximum that they could actually gain out of it. So to go ahead and then strip it down even further to come out with another GPU that's only marginally slower, uh, I mean, it's just kind of a weird situation here. I mean, there, obviously there is a price gap. You know, the uh, GTX 1080s are about $650, and then you're, you have a $1,300 card. It's a huge gap. You, you want that gap. If you're NVIDIA, you need that gap. It's the only reason to justify having a Titan-class GPU. The main reason I can see going with the uh, GTX uh, 1080 Ti over the, uh, the Titan XP, one of the big things is going to be the aftermarket coolers. You know, we said this in our Titan XP review. Uh, with the Titan XP, you're going to have to rip that reference cooler off. Otherwise, you're just wasting your $1,300. You have to rip that off and throw a water block on it. 
And with the 1080 Ti, you're going to be able to go ahead and just buy a card with a decent, you know, uh, AIB cooler, and it's going to be just fine. So, honestly, I, I don't know what the point of this card is. I think it's really stupid that they're just putting uh, GDDR5 on there instead of 5X, because they're literally trying to find ways to hamper the performance of the card, because they need to somehow justify having the Titan XP. But but they're not even really hampering it and that's the problem. I mean, you're talking about I mean, again, based on specs, it looks like 10.8 teraflops compared well, Ram, to the Ram has 11 absolutely no of the factor Titan. in teraflops. It has no calculation in there at all. So okay, fair enough. So exactly what's the I mean, what could be how could that limit it? That's well, what I it, don't understand. Because, I mean, the, the overall measure of the card CP, is the teraflop, is it not? No. Uh, that's just your clock speed times 2 times the amount of uh, cores you have. That's how you come up with your teraflops. So yes, that's the actual right. core. Faster RAM or slower RAM for that matter, if it's a limiting factor, meaning if the core is pushing so much data so fast that the RAM cannot feed it, that could be a problem. Uh, this is the reason why everybody was really expecting the Titan XP to have uh, HBM2. And with the GDDR5X, right. clearly this wasn't an issue. That's why uh, NVIDIA actually released the card. But, you know, you're limiting it down uh, about 2 gigahertz. I'm guessing this is probably going to be 8 gigahertz GDDR5, which seems to be kind of the top tier that they're doing with those now. And uh, so that's probably where that's going to be. It's going to be uh, 8 giga uh, gigabytes per second versus uh, 10. So... You know, it's not going to be that big of a deal overall. We're talking about 25% difference. We don't know what effect that's actually going to have on the card. But at the end of the day, it's really just NVIDIA trying to hit another price point. Maybe the uh, Titan XP sales have flatlined. Maybe they realized, hey, we need to reinvigorate that super high-end market and give people what they want because they don't want crappy reference coolers. And everybody that was going to slap a water box on there already has it. I, I don't know. That might just be the case, but yeah, I mean, it's a product that's going uncontested and this is what happens. This is what happens when a company can literally launch anything at any price and uh, that that's basically it. I mean, I think it's a great card. I think it's a cheaper, it's going to be the least expensive way to get actual 4K gaming. Um, it's far more affordable. I mean, we don't know the price, but it will be more affordable. It will be at probably about $1,000 maximum, which is still $300 less, which is a sizable decrease. So, I mean, it just kind of is what it is. Honestly, if you're going for 4K, you might as well just wait for next generation, in my opinion, because you'll be getting Titan XP performance levels for about, yeah, for about $400. Stick with 1440p for now and like either GTX 1070 or 1080. Don't don't buy into this. Now, if you're wanting to get the 1080 Ti, the only reason I can see this even being viable is, uh, you know, if you just don't want to upgrade for two or three generations. But that's my take on it. It's just kind of a puzzling product at this point in time. Yeah, although, you know, while I'm sitting here, I kind of, you know, you kind of mentioned a little bit, it kind of hits me that maybe, just maybe, um, with the Titan already out, it's been out now for at least a few months or a month or two, whatever, and it's entirely possible that maybe they feel like they've already gotten everybody who's going to jump up to a Titan anyway. So if they release this card now, sure, it might be close in performance, but it's going to be cheaper and maybe they're going to get more converts uh, for, you know, an upsell. So that that's entirely possible just to kind of fill that gap. Like, you know, like you kind of said, you know, it's, you're, you're, it's going to be a few hundred dollars less, most likely. I mean, we've been right generally on price, I would assume, like you said, $900 MSRP, $1,000 for Founders Edition, you're probably dead on. Uh, and that way they might get a few more converts on that upsell. That's the only thing I can think of. It kind of hit me. I'm with you. It's still confusing. Um, you know, I guess it remains to be seen. We're going to need to see benchmarks and stuff, exactly how limited it is based on the memory situation. But uh, overall, I, it's a head scratcher. I'm with you. I got nothing else. Uh, I, I wish. I just, I wish we had more information. I guess we're just going to have to wait. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. I think it's going to be a great performer. It's going to be fantastic. But, uh, I mean, at this point, I mean, for a lot of people out there that were waiting, it's at least it looks like it's going to be halfway decent. But, yeah, I would wait for the benchmarks and see if the RAM is going to be a problem because that's a lot of CUDA cores. And uh, especially if you're going to be overclocking, this is going to be a very, very fast card, just like the X Titan XP. And, you know, that extra memory bandwidth may be a big deal at the end of the day. Who knows? 
But uh, that's just my take. We'll wait and see. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you like this kind of format, once again, let us know. Uh, we're trying some new stuff, and we're trying to make it the way you guys like it. And uh, if we need to go ahead and shower a little bit more often, you let us know that too. But alrighty, guys, we're going to get on out of here. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you like what we're doing here and like to support us, go ahead and share with friends and subscribe, and we will catch you guys in the next video. Absolutely. See you guys next time.